Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today is a app review and it's called Filebrick. It's available free of charge on the Microsoft Store so all you have to do is go into the Microsoft Store, click on the upper right side of your screen, just type Filebrick, you'll see this blue icon. Uh, with the little dots it almost looks like the uh, Blackberry logo. Uh, Filebrick free of charge and what it does it gives you a cool little app that is kind of a file explorer um, but for Metro for the uh, modern interface of Windows 8 and it's actually much more complete than many of the other file explorers that I've seen uh, one of the cool things about this is that it actually will work with many cloud services so on the left side you've got your local folders music video photos you can add a shortcut of a folder if you want and this will let you have access to specific folders in your computer if you want in the middle you have access to the cloud services SkyDrive, Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, Facebook, Twitter, Picasa, Flickr and YouTube so when you click one of these you have to enter the account details and it will give you access to all of the files so it's really cool for that and on the right side of your screen you have access to neighbors neighbors is um, if your computer is on a network you'll have access to your network drives so you uh, can access to the drives you get access to the different computers that have folders that are shared so it's a really nice um, little app if you want to move files around makes it things much easier and um, you can right click on um, any folder for example and so for example it's going to music and you click and right click a folder you have uh, options to make create a new folder cut or copy folders or files rename delete of course copy and paste is available you can select all clear selection details and you can also refresh if you uh, want to add stuff that was just changed and it didn't refresh yet and it makes it so easy because you can actually go into for example music right click I would say I want to copy and then go to whatever other drive you want to go to for example SkyDrive and here you can actually right click and paste that to your SkyDrive or your Dropbox, Google Drive, anything that you want. It's fun that it ac can access actually the photos, the pictures uh, from your Facebook and Twitter accounts, even a Picasa account. So if you've uh, used Picasa in the past um, or if you're still using Picasa, you can go to the Picasa web and actually have these uh, pictures from Picasa. Uh, also on your computer. Flickr and YouTube available. Really a nice little app. It's simple to use, it's not complicated, and that is what we enjoy in an app. Something that's simple. You can uh, click accounts and have all of your accounts and show if you're logging in or out. So um, you can also show the files from music, photo, video, add any folder. So for example, you can add a shortcut. By adding a shortcut, what it does is that you go through your computer and you say, okay, well in documents, um, we'll add, for example, um, OneNote folder, personal. Let's say I wanna choose this folder and click okay. And now I have my OneNote folder available right here and everything is colored so when you add new folders it is automatically in a different color than the folder that you had already on that list so by having color-coded folders it's much easier you can of course remove shortcuts in folders it's really really cool um, easy to use even if you're not a little tech savvy person this makes it easy to actually move things around. So Filebrick free of charge on 
the uh, Microsoft Store if you're looking for a way to uh, actually move files around in the uh, start screen of your computer well this uh, from the start screen without having to go you know to the desktop mode or the file explorer it's a pretty good app for that if you enjoy our app reviews and our Windows 8 videos why not subscribe to our channel you will be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments, questions, maybe a problem or a app or something you'd like us to make a video of, why not let us know and we'll try to put that video online for you. So thanks for watching and hope to see you again on the, I the uh, iPad, yeah, the Windows 8 channel. Thank you.